are the stories you need to know from the WBON TV studios to kick off this week's Monday afternoon news brief. In Winchester, a taxi driver has been charged after he allegedly held a woman against her will and then threatened her. According to authorities, 43-year-old Johnny Wayne Barnett was taken to custody Sunday night when the complaint from the woman came through. The woman apparently knew Barnett from previous rides with the company. Barnett was allegedly brought in for questioning and he admitted to grabbing the victim and then attempting to keep her from getting out of the vehicle. Barnett was ultimately charged with first-degree unlawful imprisonment. He is lodged in the Clark County Detention Center. And Kentucky State Police respond to a recent call that apparently interrupted what seemed to be nap time. Troopers report trying to wake up the passenger, 39-year-old Samantha Jane Francisco, and the other woman in the vehicle. According to Kentucky State Police, the subjects were not easily woken, and when they did wake, officers state they observed that Francisco's eyes seemed bloodshot and glassy. Reportedly, Francisco was asked by officers if she had taken anything, and she allegedly admitted she had had methamphetamine, Xanax, and marijuana. The operator of the vehicle gave consent to a search, and according to KSP, this turned up with two bags of crystal substance suspected to be methamphetamine along with pills, a small amount of marijuana, and a couple of glass pipes. Francisco took full responsibility for the drugs and she was then lodged into the Madison County Detention Center. The Waco Junior Historical Society represented their school this weekend by competing on National History Day at Eastern Kentucky University. Waco students participated in four of the five available categories, each of which are divided between individual and group sections. Out of the 20 students who attended, 11 placed and will now be moving on to the State National History Day competition hosted at the University of Kentucky in April. They remain the only elementary school in all of Madison County to have ever competed in both the regional and state National History Day competitions, which is an exciting development. Catch the highlights in video interviews which are up now on WBONTV.com. And finally, the Laurel County Sheriff's Office is still on the lookout for a missing woman that has not been seen for multiple days. According to the Sheriff's Department, 41-year-old Kimberly Collette has not been seen since February 28th in Manchester. Authorities are asking for the public's help in order to locate her, and anyone with information is asked to contact the Laurel County Sheriff's Department. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.